Look at this. No coffee. I gotta have a tea to wake up. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna do its J-O-B, people. You know what I mean, Boots? No coffee, no awake. No awake me. Me still sleepy. I am actually still very sleepy. Oh, I don't know why. I didn't even stay up late. So today is operation finish up. I gotta get a Christmas gift for or for Pam. Uh, just one, just something, you know. Just one tiny little thing. So that she has something to open up. Isn't that a good idea, Ramo? Hey? Isn't that a good idea, Daddy gets something for Mama? Floyd's like, oh, no, the, you already yelled at me today, Dad, so uh, I'm just going to sit here. Hey? Yeah, you know, every morning I drop Liam off at school, then I come right back. So there's no need to bark and jump up on the glass and do all sorts of stupid things. Of course, Ram Ramo snorting brought us another toy. Look at that thing. Like it, he's non-stop, like dog. Non-stop, Ramo. Oh, Floyd, you goof. Oh, a bit of a break. I think I need to get another tea. Wake myself up. I still need that coffee. I, I gotta ask Pam. Oh, I almost forgot. What time is it? Oh, shoot. She should be on her way home. So while I'm talking to you, I'm gonna ask Pam to bring me home coffee because we ran out of coffee stuff. But uh, anyway, I did a bunch of editing for You Always Win. I've got the exclusive vlog uploaded for our Can We Survive Patreons. Uh, I did, so I did three edited videos for The Hunter. It's called The Wild New Game for You Always Win. Two Call of Duty World War II videos, the vlog, and of course the Patreon thing. Uh, and the day's just getting warmed up. And then I gotta go out and do some stuff. But anyway, while I was on here, conspiracy theory turned uh, truth, and it, it's not even a conspiracy theory. Like, you almost were positive. And I know, you know, when you hear this, you're gonna know. You're gonna like, yeah, totally, now it makes sense. Apple just admitted, I'm not gonna put a link there, because you can just look it up. Look at Apple admits, admits. Mmm, I love this, I admit, uh, admits, to slowing down older phones when the new phones come out, like with new software and everything like that. Now, they don't say when the new, f but they admit to slowing down the older phones. They admit to doing that. And you know what their reason is? They say, so that we extend the battery life. We extend the battery life. To I'm like, who asked you to do that? Who asked you to slow down our phones that we bought from you? We're forced to do these updates. Here's the thing, though. Now, I'm not getting angry. I'm getting passionate. Passion, because I don't like it when we the people, the consumers, are lied to and manipulated to force more consumerism on us. And this is exactly what's happening. Now, granted, it may actually extend the battery life of your phone, your iPhone, but what they're really doing is making your phone that once was fast and you were able to go on all your apps and then you were able to search for things, you know what I mean? And all of a sudden, when the new phone comes out, the newest iPhone or whatever the case may be, Suddenly your phone is like really sluggish and slowing down. You're like, oh man, like this used to be so fast. It's not just a little bit slower, it's noticeably slower. Have you ever had that? If you have an iPhone and you notice like one and especially on that second year when that next next phone comes out because they pump them every single year. You know what I mean? And all of a sudden your phone is just chugging. You're like, this is painful. I need to get a new one. Ah, that is the real reason. Do not assume, Apple, that we are that stupid. You know what I mean? Like, honestly, they, they think, you know, like, oh, we're extending battery life. That may be, uh, you know, a side effect and a good excuse to tell the public because, granted, no company, not Apple, not anyone, is going to say, by the way, we slow your phone down so it seems like a sluggish brick and makes you want to buy the newest phone because they're like, look how blazing fast this is. Well, I guess it's time to get a new phone. That is the real reason. You and I know that, they know that, but they contin continue to lie. I just think it's absolutely disgusting. I think it's unethical, and not to mention the fact that it also has to do with Androids. Now, I've had an Android for, this is my second one, same thing happened in the first one. And, you know, they don't admit it. They're not going to say anything. Samsung, I like Samsung. It's not near as bad, at least not that I remember. 
Now, I'm not taking sides. I'm not here to bash on Apple. I'm not here to bash on Android. I started with Apple. I moved to Android simply because I wanted the uh, better picture or the, the fo uh, photo thing, which the S7 was better. Like, I tested them both in store much better. And, you know, because I'm a, a social person, because I take pics, because I share with you guys, because I might record with it, it's very important that I have really good the, the rest of the stuff i don't really care you know the operating system blah 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 it's irrelevant photographs and the clarity of that is important to me as a uh, video producer someone who shares moments with a lot of people it's very very important but anyway don't be surprised if your phone is slowing down if your phone whether it's an android doesn't matter what it is if apple does it you can be guaranteed the other companies are doing it because guess what they're just as greedy it's all about money it's all about consumerism i think this is such a horrible thing and it should be optional these companies should not be allowed to force us to slow down our phones to make them more inefficient did i ask you to extend my battery life did i ask you to you know, decrease performance on my phone so that I could extend the battery. Come on, Apple. You know, that's just, it's just, it's so unethical. I can't believe, I don't know what's going to happen from this, but that excuse about the battery is absolute malarkey. It's malarkey. You and I both know that. I just wanted to share that with you because it's something that people have said for a long time. Apple nor any other company has ever said it before. And now they finally like, well, yeah, we did it to extend your battery life. Pinocchio, your nose is growing and you should be sued. I'm just saying, this is why class action lawsuits happen. You know, it's absolutely disgusting. I thought I'd share that with you anyway. Huh? Is that making your day better? You, Apple! Making my lunch, checking it twice. I won't check it twice, I just eat it. I'm trying to think now because time's a crunch in here, people, and I open up this cupboard here, which is kind of like our makeshift spice and stuff, but again, we're rebuilding, new kitchen, you know how it goes. Anyway, I saw this, Bing cherries, the cherries, pitted cherries and sauce, and I use that and we heat it up and I make it sort of a thicker sauce for the riz à la monde or the rice pudding. It, the Danish rice pu uh, rice, rice, rice pudding. Uh, I also got to find something that people can win because I don't know how many people like rice pudding. And this isn't the normal rice pudding that you get in the store. It's not custardy. It's very light, uh, made with whipping cream. And then you have slivered almonds in there and then one whole almond. And what happens is you have one bowl of rice pudding, everyone gets, you know, a glob of it. And then whoever finds the whole almond, and there's usually a marzipan pig. So you can put anything in there. You can put chocolate in there. You can put something, a gift in the middle. It doesn't really matter. But whoever finds the whole almond in their bowl of rice pudding wins the gift. So everyone's watching each other, you know, when you're eating. Some people slip it under the tongue. I've won it a few times, you know, over, over the years. And it's usually with my grandparents, but we just don't do that anymore. So this year we're having dinner for the first time in our house, Christmas dinner. So my in-laws are coming over and Pam invited a friend of hers who she does uh, dog walking with. And she, you know, she she's a very nice lady. I've... I've met her and everything like that, but she's, for the last 10 plus years, she spent Christmas alone. Like, no family, no friends at all. So, Pam invited her to spend Christmas with our family, and I thought that was very kind, and she, I, and I know the lady was uh, uh, very appreciative. And I just thought that was a very Christmassy and nice thing to do. So, I think it's exciting, and I'm excited to get Christmas. So, we got a turkey with stuffing, uh, we'll have ham, which is not a full like bone in, but just a ham, spiral ham. In case some people don't like turkey, and I know some of our kids don't like it because it's dry, right, chicken? And then I'm gonna do Hasselback potatoes, so you can look that up, ooh, that might be my toast. Hasselback, I think I'm gonna do roasted Brussels sprouts, because the kids like them and they're healthy, and uh, corn, everyone. I don't like corn because it, it doesn't digest well with me. I know people like it, so we'll get some corn. And I don't know, what else? What else is there? But we gotta get the ingredients fast because the shop, you know, the grocery stores get absolutely crazy and most of the stuff that you're looking for runs out. So right now is the time to get this stuff. Anyway, I gotta eat my lunch and then I gotta get out because Pam's coming home with Liam and then Liam's staying home for the rest of the day because they're going to a hockey game, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You see, there's lots of stuff going on. Gotta go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you see that? Flipping ice, man. I thought Pam said she was gonna throw some salt on this stuff. Almost threw my back out. Would not have been cool. So I'm gonna go do some shopping, some groceries for Christmas, 
and hopefully get Pam her gift. I got one more day left, that's it. One day left. Oh, and the, uh, you know, the gift for from us to the boys that wouldn't fit, oh, is this gonna go really loud? That wouldn't fit in the back of the truck. We canceled it like a day ago and then reordered it and it came on time. It's already here. So that's awesome. Except I have to build it uh, Christmas Eve so that uh, they'll see it. They won't even watch this video anyway, but it'll be Christmas Eve and then it'll be in the basement. I think they're gonna really like it. I think it's gonna be fun, not just for them, but for us as a family. Family, family games and stuff. You'll see it, we're gonna show you, I'll show you on Christmas, you'll be able to see it. Anyway, I gotta get going, cause I gotta record. There's a lot of stuff to do, oh. I'm feeling the pressure, the holiday pressure. This is what people, I gotta go calm, or I'm gonna be one of those holiday rushing douche nozzles. I'll be like, look at that guy, he's an idiot. I'm like, I'm really sorry, it's true, I am an idiot. Pam shopping is done. I'm in the car, all I gotta do is get some groceries now, so I'm gonna head to the grocery store, get some stuff. This isn't like all of the groceries for like normal shopping, this is some items I want to ensure that we get for Christmas dinner, because if you leave it to the last minute, you are done, you're done, you're not gonna get them, it happens all the time. So I've learned, normally I would actually get them ahead of this, but some of the stuff you can't really get ahead, like I'm gonna get some Danish Kringle, you gotta freeze it because it's not gonna be fresh, and I don't even know what the freezing's gonna do. Normal Danish Kringle, which we get all the time, we freeze, it's absolutely fine, so I'm assuming this stuff's gonna be no different. I hate, look, look how far, I don't know, can you see over here? This is where I'm parked, at the corner, and there's the mall, there's Masonville Mall. You can see, I'm at the farthest, there's the main road that goes all the way around. I parked, there was nobody here when I came here, because all through there is danger zones, man. Every knucklehead look, whoa, see that? <laughs> I'm telling you, near misses constantly in here. If you guys are going shopping, if you're out there at this time of year and everything, just stay, you know, stay aware, be aware, like hyper aware, way more than normal. Because I'll tell you right now, my old job as a claims adjuster, the biggest number one most number of accident causing places in the world are parking lots, mall parking lots, people backing out, people backing out, constant accidents. Be aware of your surroundings because it seems like people are just in such a rush. They're just the biggest knucklehead drivers. Not as bad as Black Friday. Not not as bad as Black Friday. They probably have to be the worst shoppers on the planet. You know, just absolutely out of their gourd shopping. But Christmas shoppers, you guys come real close because you don't pay attention. You're in a big rush and you just, oh my God, I just don't like, I'd rather walk. You know, I don't have a disability or anything like that. I will park far away so I can just walk and possibly get hit by someone backing out. <laughs> That's the extent of it. Ugh. Christmas is my favorite time of the year. However, I'm usually not driving and exposed to the filth. <laughs> you, I shouldn't say you, not you. I'm saying them in, in general, the public, let's just say it that way are horrible. They're aggressive, they're rude, and, and I'm, you know, I love my grandparents to death, and I know I'm gonna be elderly someday, but the old people driving are horrible. You don't pay attention to what you're doing, you drive incredibly slow, you stop in the middle of nowhere, you see me in the, in the parking lot, but you don't stop for me, you just drive right through. You don't have a, de a, set, a different set of rules because you're old, it's the same rules. Pay attention, if you can't pay attention, stop driving because it's dangerous and it's just, you're not considerate of other people. Pedestrians still have the right of way even when you're, you know, 70 or older. Oh my God, rant over. Merry Christmas everyone, that drove me nuts. I'm ready, ready to record. I know I'm not just sipping on water, it's Russian water if you know what I mean. Wink. Anyway. I got back home and I, I tweeted a, a picture of me in front of, uh, what was it, Victoria's Secrets? Uh, you know, the women's uh, bra, panty, and lingerie shop. And there was uh, Julie, if you watch the vlogs, don't cast me in that general little thing that you said there. And I know you were just saying that in general. And you know what, I absolutely agree with you with what you said. I think 
too many guys do this. But anyway, so I was doing the Victoria's Secret thing and she says, Pam's like, uh, Pam said something, oh, clear you're at the wrong store for me. Well, you know, that's just her insecurity. But I think, uh, you know, she's my wife, I love her. That aside, I think she's beautiful and I personally find her very sexy. Uh, and I don't care what the rest of the entire world thinks, I really don't. But anyway, that's just me. So that's why I think that way. And I want her to feel that way too. I want her to feel like she can wear stuff like that and be sexy. I know, Pam, Pam right now, if she's watching, she's like, oh my God, stop talking about it. Stop talking about it. I don't care, whatever. I'm not giving details. I'm just saying how I feel. So anyway, Julie Parkinson, you said, yeah, Pam, the one Prezi men always get me wrong. Uh, somehow they think we will love to receive string to cover our privates and a wire to, to cut out of the... Uh, to cut of the circulation of our boobies, lol. Little do they know we'd love nothing more than a pair of fluffy slippers and comfy PJs. I know that, because I pay attention to details. Sometimes, and sometimes, you know what, but again, when you're younger, in your 20s or whatever, I think girls or women tend to buy that sort of stuff because they want to feel sexy in front of their partner, you know what I mean? So they buy that stuff and you know, if if they feel comfortable in it, then that's fine. But that's like a like a date night sort of thing, not an everyday uh, something, you know? And if you want something really that your girl, and I'm saying this to, to guys, if you want something really that your girl's gonna be uh, comfortable with and really appreciate, not just feel, you know, like you think that they are sexy, which is important regardless uh, I think that's very, very important that they know that they're like, you think that they're sexy enough that they can pull that off, even if you're like, ugh, you know, it's a one-time thing, not always. But you're right, cotton, soft cotton PJs, sometimes even just a, a nighty or something like that, you know? It can still be, it's kind of like the in-between. It can still be comfortable and sexy, you know? Um, something that sort of like flows, it's airy, so you don't overheat, because some women overheat. Pam gets really, really hot sometimes, overheats. I find I'm sleeping under like two blankets, comforters, and she's like, <laughs> so, so, you know, I keep that in mind at the same time I want her to feel, you know, attractive and, and, and whatever. Although I tell her all the time, so on top of that. Anyway, I just thought, and if guys, if you're going in there, remember, don't just grab all that lacy stuff. That, honestly really is for you even when she buys it you know it's something that she wants to feel sexy in as well but you know for someone that sees it or maybe some women just don't even care they just like wearing it and hey to each your own you know to each of their own but if you're not sure get them a gift card there it's not the easy i'm not saying get though just get a gift card it's easier here's some cash get them a gift card pay attention to what they get you know what I mean? See what they get. Not the stuff that they're gonna wear just once in front of you. If they get PJs, then you know. Get PJs, look at the, the size so that you know, so you don't have to guess, so there's no awkward moments, so you don't get it too small or too big or whatever. See what size they get, and then you know for their birthday or whatever the next occasion is, you're set, you're golden. You know, they're like, oh, they want the comfy stuff. They like the slippers. Pink is right beside it. It's like the, you know, kind of a more fun, you know, cozy side, if you're not sure with that, you know? Uh, but also gift cards, you may not, this is the hardest thing for guys is doing stuff like bras and stuff like that, unless you know their cup size and uh, the, the chest size, you know what I mean, like around, don't even bother, because that's a tricky thing. They gotta usually, and women, you may not even know this, but you gotta get properly fitted. You know, <laughs> a lot of women wearing the wrong size. Get properly fitted, it's way better for you as well, and it just, it looks right. Anyway, I've yammered on long enough about this. I'm sure some of you are uncomfortable. Job accomplished, and Pam, I'm sorry, but I just have to say it. Everyone talks about it, they talk about it on Twitter. I'm just talking about it now as a friendship thing. I gotta go play some video games. You're welcome, boink. Done working, done the live stream, actually played the new uh, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds desert map, which was really good. And when I launched it on Steam, I actually had to do a, a install for the first time. Completely different. Looks different, plays different, sounds different. They did a real good job of that map too. Have you played it yet? No, Liam? I wanted to play it. I can't play it. I, I didn't know my thing. Well, you can, yeah, that's because you don't set things properly and you don't. I know. My bad. Yeah. I tell you, it's my workplace. It's not just like a fun little thing, so you don't I'm set it back. A lot of See, are... punishment. There's rules. I'm assuming people were hiding in shrubs a lot. No, not when really. I look at pictures. There's a lot of shrubs and like. There's a VW bus. There's a Bronco. There's pickup trucks. 
Uh, Do you have a box? Meaty, me, I, I, well, I found it, but Meaty used it. The dinner plate 28, you know, the. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I, we got in the VW bus and everything. It was actually an awesome. It looks way better. You'll see when you start up the screen, you'll be like, mmm, looks so good. I saw the new load in screen. I think they did a great job as far as video games go if you don't if you play it because there's a lot of these uh, video game companies that do early release games they launch these games like seven days to die is a zombie game that uh, Chris and I play on you always win and it's been in alpha for like three or four years this company launches it uh, January around there they release it on console and completely release official game and it's very well done, so kudos to them. But anyway, I gotta have my dinner. I gotta have my dinner. Liam wants to say something, but I really don't want him to yammer on. I just wanna finish this. So I'm gonna go and eat something and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Squish your head.